Emily grew up in the small town of Ivanovka, where she enjoyed the beautiful nature that surrounded her. Forests, hills, and a clear river created a wonderful atmosphere for romantic walks and observing local animals. Since childhood, Emily had a special affection for animals and almost always felt a special connection with them. When Emily was 10 years old, her family moved back to Ivanovka, which was true happiness for her. Now she could enjoy the beauty of the forest every day, swim in the clean river and, and breathe fresh air with the smell of pine needles. However, even in this idyllic place, there was one problem. Lynxes often appeared in the vicinity of the town and attacked farmers' livestock. In response to these attacks, farmers began setting traps, which often caused severe injury and disfigurement to the animals. Emily was sad and upset about the cruel treatment of the lynxes. After all, maimed animals often could not survive, and the injuries caused them unjustified pain. She believed that these beautiful creatures also had the right to life and deserved protection. Emily began looking for ways to help animals while protecting the interests of farmers. She discovered that there were modern, humane traps that could deter predators without causing serious harm to them. Such traps would allow farmers to protect their livestock without harming the lynx. Emily was excited about the idea and shared it with farmers, hoping for their support. However, the farmers did not accept Emily's proposal, preferring to use old but effective traps. They believed that newfangled traps would not work and preferred to stick to the usual approach. Emily was disappointed and saddened by the farmer's indifference to the suffering of animals. However, she was not going to give up. She decided to continue searching for a humane solution that would suit everyone, farmers and lynxes. Emily knew that a compromise solution needed to be found that accommodated the interests of both parties and provided protection for the livestock without harming the animals. Thus, Emily, despite the indifference of the farmers and the difficulties, was determined to find a solution to this problem and protect the lynxes from cruel traps. She was sure that somewhere there was a humane solution that would solve the problem and keep the environment in Ivanovka in harmony. Emily, with particular determination and compassion for animals, decided to stand up to stubborn farmers who refused to use humane traps. Instead of pointlessly arguing with them, she herself ordered several modern traps that were only capable of capturing animals without causing them pain. Every evening after completing her work, Emily would undertake the feat of going around the farms, setting humane traps around their perimeter. Quite naturally, the farmers were skeptical of her initiative. However, this did not bother Emily, and she was determined to protect both people and animals. She realized that over time, the lynx would begin to understand that these traps only temporarily limited their freedom of movement, but did not cause injury to them and therefore they would stop approaching farms, preferring to stay away from human habitation. On the other hand, farmers' traps equipped with snares made it impossible for lynxes to continue living. Even if a painfully wounded predatory animal managed to escape the trap, it would no longer be able to hunt effectively and would most likely die in suffering. Emily certainly believed that her idea would work. Of course, setting the traps was just the first step. Emily realized that it was necessary to check the traps daily and release the lynx caught in them. This was not an easy and even dangerous task, since a wounded animal could attack out of fear and pain. However, Emily was determined to help these beautiful creatures. So, every day after work, she walked around the farms along the perimeter. And if a lynx was caught in one of the traps, she would carefully approach, calm the frightened animal with a soft voice, and then release it by opening the bolt and allowing it to run to freedom. At first, of course, the poor animal was scared and confused. Horror was reflected in its eyes because the lynx did not understand what was happening and who was standing in front of it. But gradually, it realized that this person, Emily, helped it gain freedom. Indeed, she opened the cage, and now the lynx could run away from the places where cruel traps awaited. At first, the lynx hesitantly climbed out, then rushed in all directions, as if afraid that Emily would change her mind about letting it go. Easily running faster and faster, it disappeared into the thicket of the forest. There, in the depths of a picturesque forest, the lynx could find a new home and start a new life. Several weeks passed like this, 
Emily, thanks to humane traps, had already saved many lynxes from certain death in cruel traps. But one day she had to face a particularly difficult case. While checking the traps again, Emily noticed one of the lynxes caught in a trap and making terrible moans. It was obvious that the animal was seriously injured. Without much thought, Emily carefully administered painkillers to the lynx and took it to the vet. The doctor was able to stitch its deep wounds and provide the necessary treatment. Emily cared for the lynx throughout its recovery. She rejoiced at every slight improvement in the animal's condition and was happy that she was able to help this unfortunate creature. The scars on its body were reminders of the immorality of the cruel traps. Finally, the day came when the lynx fully recovered from the blows of fate. It was time to return it to freedom. Emily took the lynx to remote forests, far from farms and dangerous traps. She opened the cage and watched as the lynx carefully climbed to freedom. Imagine a situation where you are in the forest and watching a lynx that is about to hide in a dense thicket. Before disappearing from sight, the lynx turns and stops to look at you. In the rays of the setting sun, you notice the rare color of the fur on the animal's chest. It resembles the shape of a crescent. You can't help but shout, I won't forget you, my beauty! Take care of yourself! And shout to the fleeing lynx. You are filled with a feeling of happiness that you were able to give this animal a second chance at life. You hope you never run into it again in your farm trap. Several years pass. You get married and give birth to two beautiful children. Your children are growing up and you decide to show them the beauty of the surrounding places. One wonderful summer day, the three of you go hiking in the picturesque forest near Ivanovka. You remember your adventures with lynxes with a smile, because it was here that you released them into the wild. Upon arrival, you set up a tent camp on the edge of the old forest. Your children delight in stories of adventures with lynxes. They do not suspect that they themselves will soon witness an extraordinary story. In the evening, you and your children sit by the fire, cook bread on sticks, and chat happily. Suddenly, you hear a rustling sound from the forest. You feel a little wary and stare into the darkness. An adult lynx emerges from somewhere. Your children freeze and you prepare to protect them. But you notice that the lynx has a familiar crescent-shaped mark on its chest. This turns out to be the same lynx that you saved many years ago and released in this very forest. The animal does not look aggressive. It looks you straight in the eyes, as if recognizing you, and then quietly calls you. Three fluffy kittens crawl out from behind the bushes. These turn out to be the cubs of this beautiful lynx. Everyone, including you, freezes, attracted by this touching scene. It seems that the lynx decided to express gratitude to you for saving it, and gave you the opportunity to see its babies. Your children open their eyes wide with delight, and you almost burst out crying with emotion. This is such an unforgettable and truly magical moment. You feel that for a moment you and the lynx understand each other without words. This happens very rarely. This amazing meeting will remain in the memory of you and your children. You are shocked and touched that the lynx has come to show you her kittens. This was a truly meaningful experience for each of you. It's so rare to see gratitude from a wild animal. You are happy that you were able to help this amazing lynx in the past. Even wild predators are grateful to the people who saved them from death. They understand everything, although they cannot express it in words. Dear friends, if you liked the video, please give it a like. Also, subscribe to the channel, where our original stories are published every day.